Hello, my name is Milis Okcu and my project's name is Dersta. It is basically university within school, but we read Oxford Bookworm series in the lessons. My student's name was Jada. She was my second student overall, but my only student for this project. Together, we completed eight lessons in a month. We worked two days a week. In our first lesson, we did a vocabulary test to detect Jada's level. She was quite good, so I was happy. Sometimes she felt pressure on herself because it was a test, and I understood this from some of her behaviors. She sometimes stopped to think on some questions, and I told her that if she didn't know the answer, she could put X. After I said that, she started to put X more comfortably. She had one big problem she told me, and it was that she couldn't remember words even though she knew them. Before moving on to reading a book, we first checked the vocabulary test she did. She was a quiet girl, but in the following lessons we started to chat more often, before our lessons. I learned that she was going to have an exam soon, so we looked into the topics she had problems with in our second lesson. It was of course a topic with lots of vocabulary words. I wrote the meanings of the Eunice words and together we looked at some examples. Afterwards, we did exercises and I helped her to guess the meanings of the words. In the following lessons, we started to read the book. First, I read one page, then she read that page and together we looked at the words she didn't know. I asked her to underline the words she didn't know, so we focused on those words more. This kind of became a ritual for us. She surprised me by reading very difficult words correctly, but she also surprised me by reading easy words incorrectly. Sometimes she couldn't understand the page we have read, so I summarized the page for her. In the next lessons, I wanted her to summarize the pages we have read. For example, we have read page 1, 2 and 3, and she told me what happened in those pages in order. I didn't ask more than she could do, I believe. Together, we did some activities about the book. I realized she liked food a lot, so I bought her chocolate during our breaks in the continuing weeks. Overall, I learned that it is very hard to teach different kind of students. One student may be a fast learner, and the other student may learn slower. The teacher has to adjust according to their students, but it may be hard in a class of 30. I really enjoyed this experience and I think it taught me something, something I didn't notice before, that being a teacher requires more effort than I normally thought. Thank you for watching.